missing two games with a knee injury, he replaces David Hodgson. And Steve Nichol, whose goal beat Rangers at Loftus Road earlier this season, is the substitute. And the buzz here is that Kenny Dalgleish is on his way back. He was training alone here this morning. He might even be fit for the Milk Cup final next month against Everton. Queen's Park Rangers were able to restore Jeremy Charles to their side. He missed the midweek trip to Oman because of a groin injury. That's the only change from the side that beat Norwich last week. But in the same way that Liverpool have Dalgleish on the way back, so Rangers have striker Clive Allen back in a reserve shirt this weekend after a long injury. The referee today is Don Shaw of Cheshire. So Rangers get us underway, attacking the goal to our right in the hoop shirts of blue and white. They won't want to dwell too long on their record here at Anfield. Since 1914, they've had eight visits here. They've lost all eight. But they come here today honestly believing they have given themselves a chance with a reasonable tide, but now they've got to do a bit of defending as Robinson takes it up on the far side for Liverpool. Back to Phil Neal. Robinson again. And a goal kick. who injured himself uh, against Arsenal. Scorer of 11 goals this season. Neil. Challenged again by Robinson. Panic away. Now it's with Kennedy. Challenged by Wallach. Hansen. And again, Wallach in very hard. That is going to be such a battle that the referee, I'm sure, will need to keep his eye on and has and has given Liverpool the free kick. That really could be quite an explosive midfield battle between those two very competitive players, Graham Sunis and Gary Wallach. Rush. Sunis. Great shot, moving a lot in the air, and Hucker well behind it. Lee. Does strike such a good ball, and it was well played to him by Rush. Look at it moving, and Hucker getting well behind it. Lawrenson to Neil. Robinson touched down nicely into the path of Rush. Look at that pace again. And the shot, and the goal! <laughs> 32 this season. He's just this week signed a four-year contract. Joe Fagan said just before the start, what a good bit of business that was. And Ian Rush has proved it to perfection. Good play by Robinson leading up to this. But then it's all Ian Rush and a devastating shot beyond Hucker into the net. Liverpool 1, Queen's Park Rangers 0. Whelan. They just couldn't hold the pace of Ian Rush. And that has been the fate of many before Queen's Park Rangers this season. Lawrenson. Johnston. Now Stewart. Neil. Stainrod. That's a deep cross towards Stewart, and he'll get there before Neil. But Lee was there to help out. Gregory. And a throw. being played by both sides and particularly by Liverpool lovely controlled aggressive and skillful football as Kennedy takes it up again and that's well, 
skill deserted him for a moment. It wasn't a good cross. And it's a goal kick. Ten minutes gone. Liverpool leading by a goal to nil. Stainrod and Hansen going for it. Looked like a handball again. A good advantage played by Don Shaw. Johnston with the shot. Just over that Rangers crossbar. They mean business today as usual. A really tremendous raking shot by Craig Johnston. And look how far out it was. Way outside the box. And just clearing the crossbar. Rangers find Ian Stewart. And he finds that he can beat Phil Neal. Plenty of blue and white hoops up as well if he can get a sensible cross in. But he gets a corner. Eight Rangers players now in and around that Liverpool penalty area. Steve Wicks up from the back again, as you can see. Stainrod played for Stewart. A little cross dinked in there, but Robinson only half getting it away. And Johnston likewise, but helped that time by Kennedy. Only rushes up, and it'll be a throw. Stewart. back for Sunis and now for Sammy Lee in the end it was a little too intricate and Rangers were able to snap the door shut and find Gregory who in turn gets it away for Stainrod now that's a good looking break by Stainrod Gregory's waiting in the middle has made a good break and a fine piece of keeping by Grobinar from a really excellent cross in by Stainrod was almost tailor-made for Jeremy Charles. Great run and cross by Stainrod here. And it was just tempting the keeper to come out, and Grobelard did that so well. Waiting the game for Rush, but the pass was really giving Rush no chance of getting it back for the one-two. Lee. Still Liverpool have possession. And still they come forward. Whelan this time. Very neatly feeding the challenge of Wallach. Finding Kennedy. Now Sunis. Lee again available. When isn't he? Kennedy. In this time for Whelan. Played in for Sunis. And a brilliant save. No wonder he holds his head. And it might be the first time Huck has played at Anfield. That was a marvellous save as soon as came in, just tipping it away. Here's the corner. Johnston. Lee. Hansen. Oh, misunderstanding that time between Rush and Whelan. And Gregory gets it away. Only as far as soon as. Free kick taken. Kennedy, Whelan, here's Warren Neal for Rangers, wanting the ball played forward for Stainrod, who's got Charles up there as well, and Stewart, and now the red shirts have got to get back. Stewart again, giving Neal a torrid time. Stay, or rather, Gregory, Fillery, inside for Stainrod, but Grobelar read it well. It will come for Stewart. I think Rush felt there was an infringement there, a bad tackle on the back of him. Oh, what a lovely ball by Fillery for Stewart. And a corner for Rangers in the last seconds of the first half. Wicks has gone forward. Now Fennick has come up from the back as well. We've 
playing time added on. As Stewart takes the corner, and Grobola makes the catch. Half time, and Ian Rush's goal, his 32nd of the season, is what separates the two sides. A really business-like performance so far by Liverpool. Some pretty good defending by Rangers, but as yet they really haven't embarrassed Liverpool in the Liverpool penalty area. So half-time here at Anfield. It's Liverpool 1, Queen's Park Rangers 0. The two men there have been the scourge of Rangers this afternoon and might well want to be again as we look forward to the start of the second half. They've got every reason to smile. So Liverpool now start the second half. They attack the goal to the right, leading by one to nil. Phil Neal, and here's Rush. Lee to rather Sunis. And now Kennedy. And Dawes. Ooh, to get back to Hucker. rather a hesitant start to the second half there by Rangers. They might have paid dearly for it. Stewart. Gregory. Now Waddock. Some sensible one-time balls being played here simply by Rangers. They're not making a lot of progress. But they've got a free kick. So Rangers free kick. Mike Fillery with it. Warren Neal on the far side. Now Jeremy Charles. Gary Waddock. Stay in rod. That was a poor last pass. But they picked it up again with John Gregory. Now here's a bit of space for Stewart and this might be interesting. Trying to get to that byline. Gets it across well. And it was Lawrenson who turned it away for the corner. Stainrod and Charles and Gregory all waiting in there. That was a wicked little bit of acceleration and a cross by Stewart. And now it's he who takes the corner. Plenty of signals, but no action. Now here is the corner. Deep one again. Grobola just palming it on. Fennick playing it back in. And it comes now to Fillery. Grobola didn't know much about it. Nearest Rangers have been to a goal and now, well, no, they've got possession still. With Stewart once again, looking once more to get to that byline and Sunis intent on stopping him. But he still gets it in and Grobola just grabbing it ahead of Jeremy Charles. Well, he's still causing problems, even to Graham Sunis then. And a smile from the ebullient Bruce Grobola. That was a bit of touch and go there once or twice as Grobelaar palmed it away and Fennig hit it back in and it was the feet of Grobelaar that kept it out. Kennedy. Robinson. Oh, that'll come off Fennig to Sammy Lee. Rush trying to get it on for Robinson. 2-0. error in the first place and Lee capitalized on it by Terry Fennick I think and there was Fennick number six trying to get after Robinson but the man had his sights on the goal and there was no chance for Hucker really good work by Lee pouncing on that error by Queen's Park Rangers and finished off superbly by the man who now notches up his 12th goal of the season Michael Robinson
It's always going to be a tough old hill for Rangers to climb here. It's getting steeper by the minute. Touch for Sunis. Oh, a lovely little ball by Sunis for Rush. And off Wicks for the corner. Full of ball by Sunis. His football brain was at 100 miles an hour at that moment, and it was a lovely little touch-in. Jump by Whelan. Here's Whelan again. Sunis. Neil. Touch again, back by Whelan for Neil. In for Sunis. Back again beautifully by Sunis for Whelan. And now for Phil Neil. Just wide. Lovely play by Liverpool. And no doubt about it that Graham Sunis, right at the centre of it all, giving it just that extra dimension that made it very hard. There he is again. A lovely little ball back there for Whelan. An extra dimension that Rangers couldn't quite match just wide. Now Rangers with John Gregory. Here's Ian Dawes coming forward. Stewart. defenders bumping into each other but it was uh, Kennedy who got it away only as far as Waddock that's a good shot there haven't been many of those to be fair in this game but Waddock got on the end of that one and it really wasn't any more than a, a foot or so too high Hillary This could be more danger now. And a shot that's wide. And a goal kick for Queen's Park Rangers. Five minutes left. Well, Rush, a mistake again by Rangers. Johnston, and they couldn't quite get it together. This time, Waddock away. it's fair to say that Rangers really haven't done themselves justice either. They appear to be a side overawed by the Anfield occasion. Now, there's a great... Oh, and it almost looked as though it was there from Phil Neal. I think he handled it the second time in. But what a run it was. The smile from Peter Hucker. But it was a great run in by Phil Neal. The ball played here by Robinson. And what a run by Neal. Great save and a little punch there as we saw from Phil Neal. Well, while we were looking at that excitement, there was a quick signal. Stephen Burke came on as a substitute and Mike Fillery has gone off. Stainrod. Stainrod again from Neal, but yet again, Liverpool start the run forward with Mark Lawrenson look at this and here's Robinson with Rush waiting in the middle the pace of it all again and a penalty what a bringing down Robinson defence turned brilliantly into attack the pace of it all was beyond Rangers the ball played out there Robinson threatening that goal brought down and a penalty which Phil Neal will take the week in which he celebrated his 33rd birthday but lost his place in the England squad. Could end with a 